Welcome back to Instables, everyone. Again, breaking our downtrend now, looking to see if we can continue again after closing our hammer candle just above our downtrend, just above our eight-day moving average. Now, overextended here, mentioning exactly yesterday that we would get a rejection on our 0 0.786 Fib here at 453. And if you did take this short, it was a nice short. If you did look for that continuation, that possible continuation with room to the upside that we mentioned, then that also was a nice play. I'm going to go over exactly where we're looking for going into next week from here. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you are a day trader, if you're looking for pre-market news before market open, major volatile movers like we mentioned here with EDBO again, Friday's runner of the day here mentioning at about $2, continuing down higher on the day from $2, jumping all the way up above $4 on the day, over 100% on this break. Again, go to instables.com in the description below. And for only $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert throughout the day again. Let's jump into this one. So jumping into this buy with you guys here again after breaking our downtrend, a very nice break to the downside that we did have again with our hammer candle above our eight day here. Now looking to see if we can possibly hold here to continue. And again, that hold will be here at 449 if we are going to continue on to rally here. So in my opinion, even if we do happen to drop down below 449, we are definitely cautious with possible major support with our eight day above our 21. Again, major support because our eight day is above our 21 here. So again, we are cautious even if we do drop down below 449, below our 0.618 fib, since we have very little room to run to the downside, what I would be looking for from here is possible support on our eight day coming over here as we would be pulling back below our 449 level. And in my opinion, that support would be sitting on higher lows here, a possible continuation on higher lows that we would get off of our eight day for that continuation back above our 449 level. And in my opinion, taking nice calls here again and a few days out in my opinion would be a nice run here back above our 449 level to continue on with our gap up to 453 again our point seven eight six fib would be our target so again that's what we'd be looking for intraday this will be the watch again if we continue on with this pullback with major resistance we are cautious to the upside if we happen to hold support if we happen to hold our 449 level it will be clear we will get an engulfing candle possible support here off of our eight day that would be curling over However, if we drop down below our 449 level, again, looking for any possible false break to the downside, engulfing candle back above our 449 level, in my opinion, would do it for that nice, again, swing term momentum play and possible continuation back above our 453 level to retest our 459 prior highs from 2021 here. Now, the reason why we want to look for that continuation here is because of our weekly candle structure bouncing back above our eight weekly moving average, very bullish here. We cannot be shorting heavily here we can definitely only assume a possible bounce back until we do drop down back below our eight weekly moving average until our eight weekly moving average happens to curl back below our 21 weekly moving average then we can only assume that we are buying the dip looking for any possible continuations again a nice bounce off of our 21 weekly moving average extremely bouncing back above our 21 now looking for that possible continuation Back above our eight weekly moving average is the watch from here. Our eight weekly moving average again now, looking for that possible continuation will be the watch from here. Now looking at our monthly candle structure after closing this month with a wick to the downside, looking to see if we can possibly continue on with our eight month moving average will be the watch. So again, if we happen to continue on higher, any possible rejection candle does come in. We will be looking for support on our eight month moving average. Surely to continue on higher here, that will be the watch. Surely we will be looking for that continuation if we do pull back. But if we do continue on higher, our resistance surely will be on our 2021 level here at 480. Very key that we do look for that rejection, of course, leading into major resistance. Any possible false break to the upside intraday will be a very nice play to the downside from here. Very much cautious to the downside as we do have our 12 now crossing back above our 26. Again, we have been mentioning we were looking for this again, curled over here, looking for that possible cross. Again, that nice swing term momentum we have been getting. Again, increasing in buy pressure. Surely we are cautious on swinging any long-term puts from here until we do get any decrease in buy pressure here to show that we are confirming with that decrease in strength. Now, recapping on our daily perspective, again, after rejecting our 0.786 FIB exactly here on our 453 level, again, now testing our 0.618 FIB here. 
Again, looking for that possible continuation below our 449 level would be that possible false break to the downside, in my opinion, and possible continuation back higher since we do have higher lows that we can be looking for since we do have our eight day crossing back above our 21. In my opinion, very much looking for that possible buy the dip opportunity if we do continue on lower. And if we do continue on higher, we are not late to the party, in my opinion, on a continuation and possible gap fill on our prior gap downs that we had here on the SPY. So again, that will be the watch from here. If we do possibly hold 453 to the upside, or if we do possibly continue on back below our 449 level for that possible false break to the downside, in my opinion, possible continuation on higher on higher lows here again that we would be looking for. Now, again, with that said, if you are a day trader, if you're looking for pre-market news before market open, major volatile movers that you want to be watching, major levels that you want to be watching. Again, like we mentioned this last week with ACER, for example, if you guys did see this on Thursday, again, early in pre-market at about 84 cents, I believe it was, continued on higher all the way up to $1.25 and then continued on even higher here all the way up to $1.67 on the day above 170, I believe it was, go to instables.com in the description below. And for only $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert throughout the day again. And again, all of you instables, again, a very nice run that we had exactly here mentioning on the spy what would happen. I'm gonna go over exactly what we're looking for going into next week as well, going into tomorrow. And I'm gonna go over exactly what we're looking for going into next week on Sunday as well. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow and I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.